Hi everyone, it's Steve on the Guru Brew. I thought I would do an update to our DIY camera mounting system that pan and tilts this digital SLR camera using any internet web-based browser. The reason why we developed this bracket, if you will, is so that we can single-handedly make videos on our own without any need for a camera operator. And we can simply just point the camera using a tablet. So if you missed the construction of this, we have two other videos and I'll put a link up in the corner and you can watch those. This is number three of the DIY pan and tilt camera system coming up next. Well, our channel here at the Guru Brew is steadily growing and we like to put out videos about twice a week. And we will soon be adding another channel to our Guru Brew called Guru Brew 2. So stay tuned for that. We'll let you know when we start uh, making videos for that. What we plan on doing is tutorials for Windows 7, Vista, and 8. Um, there'll be short tutorials of the most frequently asked questions, so that should be popular, and I hope that you subscribe to that when it comes out available. Anyway, back to this camera mounting system. Um, we've built this new set. And we've always had a green screen here, but now we've turned it into a set, if you will. It's not quite done yet, but it's coming along. And this is where we will be doing most of the DIY tutorials. We have a whole arsenal of computers here and recording software that we'll be using. And then this camera with this rig that we built will be sitting here in front of the table. And I can single handedly record myself just by looking at a screen and using the web browser to point the camera at myself. No need for any help. So I'm going to take you around and show you some of the bits and pieces of how this thing works. It's not tidied up yet and we don't have everything quite under control, although this is functional and I thought it's as good as time as any to show you how it works. So give me a minute and I'll get that ready to go and show you. Here is the back of the camera pan and tilt system and you can see it's just mounted on this upper rail. And then down here are the servos that make it move. And this first servo here has a linkage that comes up for the tilt up and down here. And I'll show you that in just a minute. And then this other servo comes over to this linkage and allows it to pivot here on that bearing. And now I said I didn't have this tidied up yet so forgive this mess. But these servo wires come down to this board that we purchased from Adafruit. And this allows us to control the servos from our Raspberry Pi, which is here. And we plan on building a case and putting that all on this tripod out of the way. So, like I said, forgive the mess. We're just into testing right now. And ultimately, this whole thing will be controlled probably with this tablet here. Let me turn on my tablet. And we wrote this application using HTML as well as PHP to control this camera. And um, I've got to plug in the internet. I don't have a wireless card yet for this, so give me a minute, I'll plug that in. And then I'll show you how this um, camera rig moves. Okay, so I have um, a camera set up on this tripod. I had to take the camera off, but hopefully you'll get a better view of how this thing works. And I've got a, um, I've got my computer hooked up so I can show you the operation of this pan and tilt system. Let me go ahead and open my web browser. And we will be normally doing this with a little internet tablet here, but I'm going to show you on this computer so that I'm able to get a good screenshot of it. 
So this is just a normal web browser that's run on this Raspberry Pi and it's an Apache 2.0 and we installed that along with um, PHP and MySQL but we're not using the database portion. So this is the interface that we wrote for this camera positioning system and it's very simple it just has four buttons plus center plus a half speed button and I'll show you those functions in a minute. The reason why we wrote this very simple and a simple look is so it would look very big and have less clutter on a small tablet even though you can run it on this PC. So let me get right into it. I'm just going to go ahead and click this so you can see what it does. So it does little increments and then this current position thing updates as you do the positions. And if you use the half speed check box here and do a move, it just does a half a speed. I'll do a half a speed first here. And now I'll do a full speed. So it just takes half of the travel is what it does. So there's right, let's do this way. Now I've got this switched around. Down is up right now and up is down. It's, it's a pretty easy fix, I just have to do it. But uh, you get the idea of it. And then we have this center button here that allows everything to come back to center. So it's a little jerky, but if you wanted to do this in a smoother manner, you could always use gears and a continuous rotating servo, I think would be better instead of this linkage. But for us, this works out just fine because uh, we are setting up the shot and then we're just leaving these controls alone once everything is centered. And I'll show you behind the table here in a few minutes. I actually have a, uh, a CTR setup back here where I can actually see myself on the screen and then I can just use these buttons and center myself up and then begin recording is how it's going to work. So that is the interface um, in HTML. Let me show you how we accomplish this real quick. I'm going to go into the Raspberry Pi through SSH here. And there's just a couple files that we wrote. Um, the Adafruit servo controller came with some sample software that is written in Python. And I looked everywhere trying to find out how to control the servos just from PHP, and I wasn't able to figure it out. I found one little article that a guy did, but he said he wasn't successful with it. So I um, decided to go ahead and just modify the code that Adafruit had, which is a Python script, and my boy modified it and wrote several different versions, and then I'm just calling the script in PHP with HTML output is how we're doing it. And I'll go ahead and open up this uh, first um, file so you can see the HTML code and how we pass some of the variables. This first position string is a get statement and that actually sends the position to the screen for a visual aid and that originally comes through the Python code is returned every time you make a move and the rest of this is just HTML and then a form that sends the variables and we send the variables to another page and I'll show you that here in just a minute but this is all written in PHP and then the variables get sent to this pan.php here let me open that back up and we're using post to send the direction and that fast string and the fast string is if, if it, there's a 1 there, then it goes half speed. If there's a 0, it's, it's full speed, basically. And then you can see where we've taken those variables and executed the Python script um, using the EXE P 
PHP statement and you can see here where we sudo the Python code here and there's an actual folder called Adafruit um, up one down one left right and center and my boy modified the codes so that we were able to just use their Python code that they gave us so it's pretty simple how we did it everything was already written in Python we just modified the code to go the right direction and work with our particular servos and steps and then we used get statements to get the position and post statements to send the direction and the speed and we used the PHP exe uh, statements to call the actual uh, Python codes and you can see them here this would be for the slow and this would be the fast and then the way that we collected the positioning is when this Adafruit um, Python code is e executed it returned a code back on the screen and we grab that code through this message string here and then we sent it through the headers and you can see here where we go back to camera.php with the positioning code and then we picked it back up in the other so that is how we are controlling this thing it's pretty simple actually so let me grab the camera here real quick and I'll show you how we've got it set up here so the tripod is just sitting over here in the corner we still have to wire it up and move all this stuff right in front of this table this is the table that we'll be using to do the new tutorials that I talked about we have a CTR here on the screen that will actually show the live shots from the video camera so I'm able to use this tablet over here to position the camera using the servo controller is how it's going to work and then these computers are just for the various tutorials that we're going to be doing we have a lot of equipment that we've purchased and brought over here on this table so we can do really good quality screen capture shots for you so um, this is just a quick shot of what we're up to and um, that will conclude this video about the pan and tilt system um, for our SLR digital camera. We hope you enjoyed this series. If you like it, please leave us a comment and a thumbs up. We appreciate it and it really does matter. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.